are glad to be a part of your naturalization experience. We've prepared speeches that we hope you find meaningful. Diversity, one of the many words that comes to mind when I think of the United States. There are many countries in the world that do not encourage diversity. Here, in the United States, diversity is valued. We learn to accept and appreciate people who are different from ourselves, and that promotes tolerance and acceptance in a society. Diversity in the United States can be shown through people of all different cultures, religions, languages, socioeconomic standings, and different geographic regions. One might have a different experience in the United States if he or she stays within his or her ethnic community and does not take advantage of the diversity the United States offers and encourages. You now have the rights and responsibilities of a United States citizen. We are glad you are at diversity. Thank you. They wanted a new experience, more opportunity, and freedom. In the year 1883, my great grandparents came to America. They came separately, but both came in through Ellis Island, where they could see the Statue of Liberty. They originally came from Italy, but because of the lack of jobs in Italy after World War I, they decided to come to America. What they weren't able to find in Italy, they were looking for in America. When they first came here, they moved to Buffalo, New York where they later got a house. My great-grandpa worked at construction sites digging ditches. At the time, he was in his early 20s and had never learned English. When he came into America, he didn't know anybody and had come alone. My great-grandma, who did know English, worked multiple jobs, washing clothes, cleaning houses, and whatever other jobs she could find. Both grandparents worked hard to come to America and stay here. And as time went by, more opportunities arose for them. Years later, they moved to California. Here, they got married and became citizens. I hope all of you enjoy living in the United States and as citizens get in involved in all of the opportunities you have to participate in. Thank you. Hope, a positive outlook for the future. This is the word that comes to mind when I think of America. Hope is what strives us to wake up every morning and live every day as we should. Hope gives us the strength and determination to keep going when things look grim. Hope is what America was built on when our forefathers created it. A hope that there would soon be a place to live in that defined freedom and opportunity. A place that we now live in today. Hope is something that everyone should have or feel. Sometimes in life, things can turn out for the worse, but you just gotta keep your head up and persevere through it. Even during the time when the U.S. was still being colonized, things didn't look good for us. We were still under Britain's control and felt like we could not escape their grasp, but the few citizens of those certain colonies had hoped that they would someday break away from Britain's tight hold on us and soon we had had enough. We fought back and strive for freedom, and soon achieved it. I hope that you will have a positive and opportunitful experience here in America. And if you don't, I also have hope that you will have hope that everything will turn out okay. Thank you. Hi. My name is Ethan, and I was born in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I moved to the United States when I was around five years old, and after living here for a while, I've come to admire the greatness of this country. I was one of the first ones ever in my family to move to the United States, as everyone in my family was born in Canada or places like Italy or Ukraine. I, nor my family, are U.S. citizens, but I would very much like to become one. America is a special place to live because it has such great things, from the wide open oceans to the ferocious mountains and forests. But the greatest thing of all is the people that live here. At one point in everyone's life, 
is a time that they become part of something great. And for you, that is becoming a citizen of the United States of America. Thank you. There are so many words that can describe this wonderful country, but only one really important word comes to my mind, and that word is resourceful. In America, all of your dreams can come true because all of the resources are here. You have the opportunity to go to school and pursue the career of your choice. You can also enjoy the freedoms that America has to offer. You have the chance to legally vote, and you have the chance to be able to go to good doctors and hospitals. What America means to me is having the freedoms, opportunities, and resources that I can never imagine anywhere else in this world. Becoming a citizen of the United States means that you will also have those privileges. Becoming a citizen of America is a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I am very lucky to be an American citizen, and I think that you will be very lucky too. Twenty years ago, my mom emigrated from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, to San Diego, California. My dad is a United States citizen, but he lived in Canada for over 25 years. Eventually, he and my mom decided that they wanted to move to the United States for better and more opportunities. My mom was born in the United Kingdom and later immigrated to Canada, where she spent her childhood years. But once she was in the U.S., she discovered that there were more possibilities. She had never owned a car before and had never owned a house of her own. Within the th first three weeks of living here, my mom had a car and a well-paying job. After just a year, she and my dad bought their first house. My mom has been fortunate to own and run several businesses. She works hard and has been very successful. In addition to celebrating being in the United States for 20 years, she and her business partners just marked the three-year anniversary of their newest company. My mom loves living in the United States and is grateful every day for all that this country has to offer her. We both know that you will have just as many opportunities as she did. The one word that I think describes America, in my opinion, is special. I think America is special because there are lots of unique people from here from all over the world. Everyone brings special talents with him or her. Arnold Schwarzenegger came from Austria to live his dreams in America. Not only did he become famous by doing movies, he got his U.S. citizenship and became the governor of our state of California. No one would have imagined a person from another country could do all the things Arnold did. Each of you have very special talents that help make America an even better place. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sierra and I am from the USA, but my mother is not. She is from Germany, however, she immigrated to the USA in the later 1900s. This is her story. My mother, Sabina, flew from Frankfurt, Germany to Boston, Massachusetts. She was offered a job at Harvard University and was granted a fellowship too. In order to be allowed into the USA, anyone needs a visa. Some people have to wait longer than others to get their visa. Fortunately for my mom, she needed to wait only three or four months because she was an exchange student and the fellowship agency helped to get her visa more quickly. After she worked at Harvard, she flew to San Diego, California to work at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. Here she met my father and when they got married, she applied for her permanent residency. It took her two years to get her permanent residency, but it was well worth it. The hardest part about coming to the USA for my mom was worrying about getting a long-term job. My mom flew from far away, come to this great country, and many of you have done so as well. I hope you can share your story with someone else someday, because I found it fun looking to my mom's past.
America is a country of many amazing cultures, people, jobs, religions, and much more. The word that stands out to me to describe this diverse country is opportunity. We are given chances to accomplish and endure so much in this place of freedom. When I wake up every day, I think how lucky I am to get to live in a country of great opportunity. As I grow up, there will be chances for me to have a job and a home of my own. When I graduate high school, thoughts will be running through my head about college and which one I would like to enroll in. It's going to be a big opportunity when I get to choose a school that makes me feel right. In some other countries, there are rules and regulations that overpower people's lives. They don't always get to choose what feels right for themselves. Our experiences in America are great. We get, we get to see new perspectives of the world when we take the chance to see new opportunities. Thank you. My dad came to the United States in 1981. He was 16 years old. He had left India to go to engineering school in Chicago. Up until then, he had never been to America before. He graduated from college four years later at the age of 20. He then went back to school, and two years later he had his MBA. In 1992, my dad got his green card, and he was very happy and proud to become a citizen in 2001. My dad has had several different jobs since he graduated from college. He has worked at companies like Gateway Computers, and he has had his own company. Now he works for HP. I think that one of the best things about America is that almost every family has an ancestor or relative like my dad, a person who has immigrated to America. Because of this, America is a very diverse place with people of different races, religions, and ideas. I think the diversity of America is what distinguishes it from other countries and makes it so special. If I could describe the United States in one word, I would have to choose faith. Faith in oneself and faith in a better life is what brought this nation together when it was new, threatened, and divided. You show this faith when you came to America and left all that you know so that you could live a better life. And that is faith. Not only in yourself, but in America. Faith is something everyone feels when they arrive in the United States and, feel, and still can be felt today as you become a citizen. Faith is a product of people like you coming to the United States to make it better for each other, our friends, and our family. Today you will become a citizen of these United States of America and your journey begins and continues with one word, faith. Faith brought you here and faith in yourself and your country will open a world of possibilities for you. My great-grandparents on my mom's side were Austrian Jews from the city of Chernowitz. At a young age, my great-grandmother went to work for a wealthy family as a tailor. After the start of the Nazi pogroms, her and her family escaped to the U.S. There, they went through a variety of odd jobs, including working in sweatshops, selling bananas from a horse cart, and owning a candy store. The father, Joseph, later went back to Chernowitz, where the Jews were in a very bad state. He ended up giving all of his possessions to his family and friends who were stuck there, and returned only with the clothes on his back. My grandfather on my father's side was French. During World War I, he was conscripted into the German cavalry. During a charge against Russian trenches, he was one of few survivors and was imprisoned in Siberia. He later found his way out at the end of the war. Years later, he went to America, where during World War II, he was falsely accused of being a fascist sympathizer. He was denounced as an enemy alien and was put in many internment camps. Eventually, after a series of legal battles, he was acquitted and got his freedom. I hope that in hearing these two stories, you see a little bit of your own, seeing as you two have gone through many obstacles to be sitting here today. Thank you. Tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. 
land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring, let freedom ring. Freedom, all men are created equal with certain inalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Freedom is the basis of this country. It is the reason for this country and the result of this country. The United States is founded on the idea of freedom. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and freedom of the press. This is in the fundamental document that this country bases itself on. The Bill of Rights states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. This means that you can say whatever you want, do whatever you want, and believe whatever you want, so long as you are not infringing on someone else's rights. This freedom can provide opportunity, the ability to do whatever you want. This is a blessing that comes from being a citizen of the United States.